be making basics. What's going on? Be making basis here. Uh, basically, wanted to go over this template that we just dropped. It's a beat mixing template. It's actually going to be good for any genre, and basically, it's going to help you save time when it comes to mixing your beats. So, um, this is a new Logic Pro 10 session. Basically, what you want to do is go over here to the actual uh, folder that has the template, and you'll see this item here and also a video. But you're just going to double click on the actual template right here. It says BNB mixing template stock. And what's going to happen is it's going to pretty much open up a session here. So what we have here is a template. It has pretty much all, all of the major instruments that you'll probably be using when it comes to creating either like hip hop, trap, um, you know, rap or R&B style music probably even EDM and some other um, uh, genres as well. But for the most part, it has every major sound that you're gonna be using. So we got like an 808 bass, kick, snare, snare roll, rim, clap, uh, hi-hat, open hi-hat, shake, toms, cymbal, uh, effects. Then we also have our melody instruments like piano, guitar, lead, synth, bell, harp, flute, pad, and I always also have some tracks for samples. So you might have like a couple samples in your beat. But you know, we've got sample one, sample two, and then we got beat tag for your beat tag. All right, now I also want to point out that you have on this bass track an ability to sidechain to the kick. All right, and what sidechain side compression is going to do is basically set it up to where every time this kick punches through, um, the, the bass is going to dip some. Now, I didn't set it to a certain level or whatever because it's going to be based on the type of bass that you put in. It's going to be based on the type of kick that you're going to be using, things of that nature. But once you go ahead and put your bass in and put your kick in, all you have to do is come over here to the threshold, the ratio, and the attack. And you want to play around with those three knobs here and also the release and get it to where you'll start seeing where the uh, kick will activate the bass dipping some or whatever so that's going to be also a technique that you can use or if you don't want to do some side chain compression just go ahead and click that track off okay so simple there so this is pretty much how it's going to work um you would drag and drop your sounds in to this gray area first and then you're just going to move whatever the track that coordinates with these tracks up to the track so for instance, if it's an 808, you're just gonna take it and move it up here to the 808. So I'll de demonstrate that real quick. We'll come over here. And I'm just gonna get get one of these beats. Okay, and it's gonna take it and drag it right here in this gray area. All right, so it should ask you a couple of questions. Use existing tracks, yes. Um, and it also should, when you drag and drop your files over here, it should change the BPM. If it doesn't, all you have to do is go to what the BPM is and then change the BPM. Okay. So we have our audio in here. If you look back over here on the mixing window, everything is turned down. That's okay. It's kind of what you want it to do, um, but you just go ahead and take these and move these tracks up here to the coordinating um, track. So this 808 is going to go up here, kick, clap, snare, we got a rim shot, a hi-hat, etc, 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 man, you know. This is probably the, the main point, the part that takes a little bit of time, but it's all good. Also, like if you notice, for instance, I have um, some more samples here. All you have to do is just double this, push Command D, and now we can continue to add these samples on here. And you can do that with any of these other instruments as well. So, of course, you're gonna wanna come back through here and name these properly. If you'll let me do it, there we go. OK, 
Okay, I'm having some trouble with that. But anyway, you get what I'm saying here. Um, same thing, okay, harp. There's two harps right here. So I'll just double this and move this on over here. And then we got some tags. So let's have another tag. I'm just gonna move these up here like this. All right, from here, all you gotta do now is just delete everything else. So we're deleting that, these, And then we have pretty much the session, the session here. So I'll make sure everything is right as far as the names. And then I can just come over here and highlight everything, Command A, and then push Shift, Option, and the, the letter N. And then what that's going to do is pretty much name everything that's here over here. So now you have um, your session in here. I'm going to always come over here to the end and make sure that end marker is uh, at the end of your session. But let's go ahead and keep on explaining how this works. If you notice here, um, you already have like EQ ready to go. So it already cuts out some of the lows of certain instruments, uh, rolls off some of the highs of certain instruments. But it also has these instruments also panned and grouped over to some auxiliary tracks grouped and busted over to some auxiliary tracks so i have like the 808 it's going to be come over here to this uh auxiliary track the kick is going to be you know over here with the kick and snare and, and you know if you look over here you can see it it's already created over these with these groups so from here all you had to do is just get the levels right. So you can just come over here to wherever your hook is, which to have most of your instrument sounds, and just start bringing the levels up. So let's just start on there. cool so pretty much after you get the levels right that's pretty much going to be the bulk of what you need to do if you look and notice over here the headroom is already going to be created in your track because i lowered uh you know the um auxiliary tracks and kind of like mixed those for us let's just look over here Got real good headroom. You don't have to really do too much to the mix. I mean, you can come in here and touch this up if you if you need. Like say if if like one of your sounds like you know has too much of this lows taken out or whatever, you can come over there and adjust that. But for for the most part, the mix is almost done for the most part. I just got the levels of this. Everything is ready to go, man. It's pretty simple. If I did want to do some extra cool things like you know you know, use a spreader um, on my melody. I can just enable that. If I want to add a compressor to one of the um, buses, I can do that. But, um, you know, a lot of good things you could do here. And I also want to point this out before we end the video here is that um, on my drums and then also on our melody, we have two different ways you can add reverb. So we have reverb one on our drums. So I can come over here and send a reverb. You can come in here and adjust the reverb however you want. And you can send this reverb over here. So say if I wanted to put a little reverb on the hi-hat, Or if I want to put some uh, reverb for reverb two, which is going to be coordinating over here with our sins. Okay. If I want to put a little reverb on some of the samples, I can do that too. And you 
can come over here and switch out these reverbs if you want to adjust them whatever you want to do um, same thing with any of this stuff you can kind of adjust it or whatever but for the most part this is going to be a pretty solid uh template for you man it's going to save a whole lot of time so it's going to be a template that i use as well okay so one other thing i want to talk about is how to actually save your template so actually after you loaded everything up and everything preferably before you actually start adding your tracks in okay and deleting stuff so what you'll want to do is go over here to file and then to say save as template okay what you'll do is once it does that you can name it something else if you want to um but for the most part that's all you're going to do and you just push save and it will save it there then whenever you want to pull up your template you just code file and then you can say uh oh, um, new from template um, and then i can come over here to my templates and then you'll see the template right in there all right so that's pretty much going to be the video if you have any questions let me know you can email me um at info at beatmakingbasis.com um you can also reach out to me on either social media platforms youtube um or whatever man if you have issues but really email is going to be the best way um appreciate you watching also again Make sure that you stay in tune with our YouTube channel and make sure you stay in tune with the website because we are be going to be dropping new content on a consistent basis. So more courses, more drum kits, loop packs, templates, things like that. Appreciate you. I'll see you um, later.